Hi, my name is Len Marshall, and as a conservative independent, I have been sitting quietly observing what has befallen our country and our world for the last two years. I have done so under the false hope that if I did not disparage the current government, maybe, just maybe, they would figure out the proper way to lead our country. I've been wrong, and I apologize. Our prior administration had a strong leader whom I believe was trying to do the right thing for his country, but who was sabotaged by politicians from both sides of the aisle and by the media. While I did not like his constant lashing out at all his opponents and trying to counter their incessant lies, I can certainly understand that it was the only way for him to be heard and stay relevant. Most people who objected to him saying that he was saying that he was not presidential and that was because they never saw the whole picture and couldn't understand the why behind the remarks. Which brings us to today, three weeks before the 2022 midterm elections. Our country and the world is once again in grave danger due to extreme political partisanship and by totally weak and inept leadership from one end of D.C. to the other. Bad decisions piled on top of bad decisions the divisiveness spread throughout the country shows a weakness that our enemies, both foreign and domestic, are exploiting. Uh, Sunday, on Meet the Press, I watched the poster boy for the Red Diaper Brigade, Bernie Sanders, and for the first time in my life, I agreed with him. He said that our monetary problems and runaway inflation have been caused by external influences and that our fiscal and political policies will only make things worse. He agrees with me. The Fed raising interest rates only compounds the problem, and trying to stop inflation by killing jobs and demand is more than stupid. It's criminal. This president, cabinet, and Congress has purposefully choked off our supply of fuel, energy, and products, and has crippled our means of production. Adding millions of uncontrolled, undocumented immigrants to our struggling country only causes more supply shortages and raises the cost of everything. Inflation is strictly the balance between supply and demand of goods and services. If we don't break the cycle of inadequate supply, we cannot stop inflation. We need to get back to production everywhere before we end up in a world war worldwide depression and probable war. The first thing that we must do to avert imminent disaster is to vote out as many Democrats as possible and replace them with quality candidates from wherever we can find them. They can no longer be allowed to control the House and the Senate. This will give us two more years to help save our country from this disastrous current quote-unquote leadership and to repair our political system and return it to the constitutional control of all our citizens. Both Article the First and Equal Rights Amendments have been ratified by the state and by statute or the law. We must reassert our rights and insist that the Constitution and the law be followed.